followers with the Kawartha Sexual Assault Center. I feel like we need a moment to, to heal, a moment to validate ourselves with some beautiful affirmations. And this moment came up for me while I was reading a book uh, last night, actually. And I went into tears reading it with just how beautiful it was. So I'm going to be reading a passage from a book called Pleasure Activism. And it is written by Adrian Marie Brown. And I'll just read her, um, their bio really quick. Adrian Marie Brown is the writer in residence at Emergent Strategy Ideation Institute and author of Grievers, the first novella in a trilogy on the Black Dawn imprint. Holding Change, The Way of Emergent Strategy, Facilitation, and Mediation, We Will Not Cancel Us, and Other Dreams of Transformative Justice, Pleasure Activism, The Politics of Feeling Good, Emergent Strategy, Shaping Change, and Changing the World, and co-editor of Octavia's Broad, Science Fiction from a Social Justice Movement, and How to Get Stupid White Men Out of Office. She is the co-host of How to Survive the End of the World, Octavia's Probables, and Emergent Strategy Podcast. Adrian is rooted in Detroit. And I just wanted to read this piece from this book um, because of how validating um, it was for me, and I hope that it's validating for some of you as well. So this is from page uh, 62 in Pleasure Activism uh, from the chapter Love as Political Resistance. And I've skipped ahead, and I'm going to jump to some parts here. So I'll hold the book up so you can see it. Healing. Trauma is the common experience of most humans on this planet. Love too often perpetuates trauma, repeating the patterns of intimacy and pain so many of us experience growing up in racist and or heteropatriarchal environments. Shame might be the only thing more prevalent which leads to trauma being hidden, silenced, or regated to a certain body of people. If we can't carry our trauma and act normal, if we have a breakdown or lose our jobs, our homes, children, there is something wrong with us. What we need is a culture where the common experience of trauma leads to a normalization of healing. Being able to say, I have good reasons to be scared of the dark, of raised voices, of being swallowed up by love, of being alone, and being able to offer each other, I know a healer for you. I'll hold your hand in the dark. Let's begin a meditation practice. Perhaps talk therapy is not enough. We should celebrate love in our community as a measure of healing. The expectation should be, I know we are all in need of healing. So how are we doing our healing work? Build communities of care. Shift from individual transactions for self-care to collective transformation. Be in community with healers in our lives. Healers, we must make sure our gifts are available and accessible to those growing and changing our communities. Be in family with each other. Offer love and care. We can receive the love and care we need. Share your car or meals with a healer in exchange for Reiki sessions. Facilitate a healing group in exchange for massages. Clean a healer's home as a batter for ritual to move through grief. Pay healing forward. Buy sessions for friends. Let our lives be a practice, a practice ground where we're learning to generate the abundance of love and care we as a species are longing for. This Valentine's Day, commit to developing an unfathomable devotion to yourself as a part of an abundant, loving whole. Make a commitment with five people to be more honest with each other, heal together, change together, and become a community of care 
that can grow to hold us all. So again, that was from the Pleasure Activism book by Adrienne Marie Brown. Um, really beautiful and validating passage, and I hope um, that it was as validating for me as it was for you. Feel free to share um, this with friends if this passage was meaningful, and do have a beautiful day. Thank you.